What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. So today I bring you the world's smallest DMR walkie talkie rugged smartphone. So this is the Unihertz Atom XL. Now, those of you who don't know, DMR stands for Digital Mobile Radio. And just look at the size of this smartphone. So this is a compact dual SIM 4G smartphone with a 4-inch IPS display and a screen resolution of 1136 by 640. Now, you do have a layer of Gorilla Glass and also an oleophobic coating, which means it's resistant to fingerprints, dirt and dust. Now, quick look what you get inside the box. An envelope which contains your user manuals. You're also getting a spare screen protector because one is already applied on the phone. A USB fast charger is included. And this here is your DMR walkie talkie antenna. Now the fingerprint sensor is located just under the display. It's a physical sensor and it's very quick and accurate at unlocking the smartphone. And you also have two touch buttons on the side, your back and menu. And when you touch them, a red light appears. Now this phone also has a pretty good face unlock. As you can see, instantly unlocks when it sees my face. Now under the hood, we do have the MediaTek Helio P60, which is an octa-core clocked at two gigahertz. We've got six gigs of LP DDR4 RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Now the speaker is actually located on the back of the unit. So you've got one single loud speaker and no matter how you hold your phone, you're not gonna cover that speaker. And the speaker is surprisingly loud for the size of this unit. So you haven't got stereo speakers, but that one single loud speaker does the job pretty well. So it is an ultra tough, rugged smartphone, and you've got these rounded edges going all the way around. And it is made from a combination of metal and this rubberized textured plastic. Now the phone is 810G military standard durability with IP68 certification. At the bottom of the device, you have a USB-C port and a headphone jack. On the side, we have volume rocker and power button, and the buttons are in fact made from metal. At the top of the phone, we have an IR blaster and a small latch. And when you open that latch, you will see a connector for the DMR walkie talkie antenna, which I'll show you in a bit. And on the other side, we have a hybrid SIM tray, which can take dual 4G nano SIMs or one nano SIM and one micro SD card. You also see a customizable textured red button, which does feel quite nice to the touch. And when you keep that button pressed by default, it will open up your LED flash. And that works even when the display is off. You can activate your flash by keeping the button pressed for two seconds. And the button is customizable should you want to change that action. Now you can also expect dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, NFC, GPS, and even FM radio. Now the phone is quite thick at 17.5 millimeters, and you're also getting some weight with that. It's 225 grams. It's running Android 10, giving you a very stock-like Android experience, and it is generally smooth in operation. Now on the back, you have a single 48 megapixel camera and an 8 megapixel on the front. And here are a few samples for you guys to check out. This phone also supports 1080p video recording with electronic image stabilization. And this is what you can expect in terms of video quality. Now the battery life is actually pretty good. This phone can last you a day and a half, and you can even stretch that to two days with normal to medium usage. 
and this phone does support fast charging. Now let's talk about the DMR feature. So you open the latch, you grab the antenna and you're simply screwing that on. Once you connect that antenna, it looks like a mini walkie talkie in your hands. Now the actual DMR feature can be accessed from the intercom app. And by default, you have eight digital channels along with eight analog channels. You can also add a new channel if you know what you are doing. Now the DMR offers two watts of power on 400 to 800 megahertz bands, which translates to an operating range of up to eight kilometers. The DMR radio feature does drain the battery pretty fast. So if you were to use it nonstop, the battery would not last you more than seven hours. So it's a very capable DMR and analog UHF transceiver. So if you have an interest in radio, then you're going to be quite pleased with this device. So to sum it up, the Unihertz Atom XL is not only the smallest rugged smartphone with DMR capabilities, but it's also the most affordable DMR small rugged smartphone you can currently buy. Now, you just wouldn't expect a small phone like this to have so many extras included, like micro SD card slot, built-in NFC, a loudspeaker, IR blaster, headphone jack, USB Type-C fast charging, FM radio, DMR, and lots more. Now, I do like the solid build quality and how it feels in the hands, and the fact that it's IP68 with military standard durability. You can take pretty decent looking 48 megapixel shots. Now, the DMR feature itself is pretty good, and you have a solid battery life. Now, a few things to consider. The CPU is a little outdated, Although the Helio P60 performs everyday tasks quite well, and I had no issue running my everyday applications on this. And another thing to consider is the fact that it's a bit thick and heavy, which is something that you would need to get used to over time. Bottom line, this phone is designed for a particular niche. It would be quite suitable for the police, ambulance, NHS workers, soldiers, construction workers, miners, etc. Those professions can benefit from a rugged device like this with the added benefit of being very compact in size and that super big battery life, which is actually quite rare for a small phone. Now, if you weren't interested in the DMR walkie talkie features, you can actually save yourself $50 and pick up the L version of this phone. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out for yourself. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.